Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Fire Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe right now. Steel on steel, steel on the matter. Let's get straight to right here with our station. The unified every king of the universe, I think Joshua, um, I'm a unified every king, is back at it. Back and on a route to becoming a three time everywhere champion. Joshua posted this picture um, recently on his uh, social media platform of him training and on the pad and working on something very significant. We know that the Dubois fight is probably looming around or oh, still not confirmed yet because the IBF, I think, would be on the line. For the fight, you know, for the fight to happen. I know we haven't spoken. I haven't spoken to my to my bros, um, Adewale and um, Maojo regarding this fight right here, potential fight. Maojo, what's your take on the potential fight between Anthony Joshua and Dubois? And what do you make of Dubois' last performance? And also, the hype Dubois is getting right now. People are hyping him up as if maybe. He's the new coming of uh, of Jesus, in my opinion. Like we know what this guy is about. Of course, he showed he showed hard in his last two fights, Jeremy Miller against Jeremy Miller and uh, Egovich. But Egovich landed over fifty fucking right hands in the first three rounds, bro. Joshua lands even half of that. This is a big problem for the boy. What do you make of it? Um, first and foremost, um, I'd like to really say that I appreciate what the way Anthony Joshua and Teddy and um, the way they're going about this, and this is what I think. Um, so Frank Warren is trying to play a game where they want you stick to hold on to all the benefits so that Tyson Fury would have another opportunity to fight for all the benefits in December. I don't even think that fight is going to happen, if I'm being honest. But Eddie Hearn is insisting that if Joshua is going to fight Dubois, he can't fight Dubois because what has he got to gain? If he's not fighting Dubois for the belt, what has the like what is the what is the advantage? He's even better off fighting the likes of Joseph Papa, Zili Zhang, um, who else is there? Even maybe Kabayel, even, in all honesty. So what will be the benefit of Joshua fighting Dubois? without a belt. So I like the fact that they're holding out. I believe very strongly that the reason why the fight has not been agreed and announced is because at the end and answer the Joshua, they're really trying to make sure that the IBA belt is on the line. Otherwise, what is the point of fighting the boy? The boy is not is not popular. The boy is not a cash cow. It doesn't really come with much. You get what I'm saying? So I think in terms of like fighting the likes of Zili Zhang, there is more of a bragging right beating Zili Zhang than beating uh, Dubois. So if I'm going to fight Dubois, this is Joshua now, I'm going to have that idea belt on the line. And Joshua wants to become a three-time heavyweight champion of the world. And what better opportunity is out there than the opportunity we have right now for Joshua to fight Dubois. So I'm hoping that one way or the other, the strip... Um, you see, of the IBA belt, it's already undisputed. There is nothing more to prove. We already know that he's the undisputed champion, a guy whom we respect so much. I respect him so much. I respect his talents and all of that. He's undoubtedly, he's beating Joshua twice. twice. He's beating um, Fury, and I believe he's going to beat Fury again if the fight happens. I don't believe it happens, but if it does, I believe he's going to beat him again. So now, Joshua, yeah, go for the IBA belt, fight Dubois, beat Dubois, um, which I believe is going to be the worst. Now, you mentioned something about how the, the, um, was it called? Dubois hit how many right hands from Philip Elgovic in three rounds. He cannot eat 10 of those <laughs> right hands from Joshua, bro. He can't. He can't eat 10 of them. Trust me. His defense is not great still. See, a lot of guys in this panel, we've, all, we've always known that Ergovic is not that guy. Ergovic is not that guy. He gasses out in five, six rounds. 
is that his house. He sometimes actually shows that thing where he loses interest when he's fighting. It's like his concentration is not top notch. Um, so the boy beating him, I mean, I'm not, I mean, give him his flowers. I'm kind of impressed in a way, but I am not like overly surprised that Dubois beats Ergovic because I've never really, I've never really rated Ergovic to say that Ergovic is that monster. But a good win still for Dubois. But against Joshua, it's a different ball game, man. It's a different ball game. I'm not saying he doesn't have a chance. He does have a chance, but how much chance do I give him? Maybe 30% at most out of 100 at most against Joshua. That's all I can give him. I cannot give him more than that, a 30% chance. And he hasn't got a better team than Joshua. He hasn't got a better experience than Joshua. He hasn't got, I don't even think he has, he, no, for sure, he hasn't got a bigger heart than Joshua. So really, what he hasn't got better experience. So what does he really have over Joshua? So in all honesty, um, I'd like to see the fight. I'd like to see Joshua knock him out. I don't even think he's going to go, he's going to go 12 rounds. I think he's going to quit again because if those right hands from Joshua keeps landing the way um, Elgovic landed, bro, it's going to soon be an early night. Early, early night. So, um, yeah, I look forward to it. His win against um, Big Baby Miller. Who is Big Baby Miller? Who has Big Baby Miller? Who has he been? Who has he fought? Right? Who has he fought? So, for people to be going on like, he beat Big Baby Miller, beat, beat, like it's a big deal. Who has he fought? This guy is just a fat clodder who relied so much on, 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 his, on, his, on his PEDs. And since he couldn't get PEDs anymore, he's been exposed. And even before he got caught using PEDs, who did he even fight? Who did he fight? There is no notable name on his record. So I don't even get where these all are high for Big Baby Miller. I don't know where that hype is coming from. So for the boy to have beaten Big Baby Miller, it's not a big deal to me. It's more of a big deal that the boy beat um, Ergovic. That is way more of a big deal. But, and, you know, in fact, look at the way he fought Elgovic as well. He fought dirty, literally going, going in with his head all the time. The amount of head box that that guy, you know, the, the, the amount of times he used his head in that fight is just unbelievable. I can't believe he got away with it. So I hope that Joshua and his team, I hope they're going to look out for that. But in all honesty, I don't... It's not impossible because this is boxing at the end of the day. But on a scale of 1 to 10, the boy beating Joshua, I just give him like a 3% chance. I mean, 30% chance on a scale of 1 to, one, one to 100. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all I've got to say, bro, for now. Thanks, Bob. Share your take on this. What do you make of the sudden friendship uh, between uh, the Aaron and, uh, and Frank Warren? The, third, the, the sudden bromance. And I think Frank Warren is playing the mic games. He's playing chess with Eddie Aaron, but Eddie doesn't know this. Bro, Eddie Aaron is not a stupid guy. Trust me. Eddie Aaron is more of a snake. <laughs> I don't know. You know. I don't think you know those Essex boys yet. Those guys from Essex. See, Eddie Aaron is not a stupid guy. Trust me. He's not stupid. You might think, see, the, at the end, he's playing a clean game. Oh, let me just pretend as if I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just going to play along. I'm just going to be all nice, nice, nice. But trust me, behind the scenes, you think these guys don't know what they're doing? I don't think at the end, he's going to fall for it. Trust me, he won't fall for it. And remember, at the end, still has his father. His dad is still alive. And his dad is going to keep reminding him, I know Frank Warren. I've worked against him and I've worked with him. You cannot trust Frank. Trust me. His dad is going to be reminding him at all times. His dad is his mentor. He really relies on his dad for a lot of things still. His dad is no more in the eye. He's no more out there for us. You know, he doesn't really, he's not really involved anymore like that. But trust me, behind the scenes, he is involved big time in terms of giving at the hand that fatherly advice to be like, listen. You cannot trust Frank 100%. See, do business with him. Make the money you've got, you've got to make with him. But in terms of trusting him and believing that he is no, no. Trust me, I don't think Adrian is going to be that stupid. These guys have not seen each other for years. You know, these guys have been enemies for years. 
then all of a sudden overnight they're going to be friends and at the end is going to trust him 100 percent no they don't trust each other they're just making money together right now yes they're making big fights yes they're doing what they have to do but i don't think they trust each other 100 percent they're just making money together Tokyo okay, Allah Sheikh is giving them a lifeline making good fights making good money but in terms of trusting him no he's not stupid he's not stupid why do you think they've not announced the Dubois fight it's because there is something going on behind the scenes at the end and his team they are not accepting the fact that we're going to fight Dubois without the belt they're not accepting that nonsense otherwise if at the end trust like they would have just done the announcement and be like you know what yeah, come on, let's just announce the fight. Let's go on with it. No, but behind the scenes, they are fighting to some nail. That if that belt is not on the line, what is the point of the fight? That is the thing. So, bro, I don't, I don't think at the end is going to fall for that. I'll be surprised if at the end falls for that. And the good thing is that at the end, that Barian is still alive, and he will, he will keep reminding at the end that you cannot trust Frank Warren one hundred percent. He will keep banging. And singing that in his ears, two, four, seven, bro. I'm telling you that right now. Trust me. Those SS boys are sneaky. At the end, he's a sneaky guy, bro. Forget the fact he's a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. He's a really, really nice guy, and he's honest to an extent in terms of paying his fighters, trying to get them good fights, and all of that. He's honest enough, but he is not. He's not an angel, bro. He's also very sneaky, and I don't think he's he'd be foolish enough to trust. Uh, Frank Warren, a hundred percent. No. Thanks, bro. I'm sure I'll take on this. Uh, we have a brother right, right here. Uh, thanks, bro. I really appreciate it. And uh, guys, this is my brother. God bless you.